Hey, hey guys, guys. Twins Plody here with you. Uh, because of the quarantine, we're spending a lot of time at home and we decided to film this video and post it online. So uh, why are we doing this? So this is our first video and we're going to share with you a lot of uh, stories from uh, entrepreneurs, successful companies. Um, they inspire us, they motivate us, yeah. so we want to share them with you. And we want you to get motivated and inspired and at the end we'll s share some points that we have learned. So hopefully you can learn from there as well. So the this first is story is about Moise Ali. So who is Moise Ali? We know that he's a founder, entrepreneur, investor, a speaker. He created a company starting with $1,000 in the end, selling it for $100 million. And he did it in two and a half years. This is incredible. He sold it to Procter & Gamble. And for those who don't know, Procter & Gamble owns um, companies such as uh, Head & Shoulders, Always, um, Tide, Tide, and many, other, many, many other companies. Moise Ali in 2015 founded a company called Native Deodorant. So what is native deodorant? Native deodorant. Basically, native deodorant is a natural deodorant that is made from completely natural ingredients. There is no alcohol, aluminum, and all other uh, different stuff that you can find in basic deodorants. Before, when he founded the company and launched the product, it was only one product. Now the company is called yeah. Native, and <clears throat> it has many different products. If you go to their website, you'll find uh, products for men and women separately. So how did it all start? So Moise, is, uh, Moise was in Europe and he decided to buy a deodorant one day and he decided to see okay, what ingredient it has. Uh, so out of uh, aluminum, he couldn't pronounce any of other uh, ingredients. And his sister was pregnant uh, and she was really curious about what kind of deodorant she will be using and she was trying to search and find an, a natural deodorant. And that time he thought, okay, this is the problem and I want to solve this. So he found the problem and now he started to take quick steps and actions. What he started to do, he, he bought any natural deodorant that was there on the market and he was trying them on. Like one arm, other deodorant, another arm, a different deodorant. And he was putting the natural, natural deodorants on the clothes as well and trying to wash them and to see what's going to happen. Yeah. So by testing, he quickly started to find a perfect ingredient that was eventually becoming a first native deodorant. It's crazy to think that uh, Moise didn't know anything about deodorants, uh, yeah. but this didn't stop him, right? Uh, he was talking to his friend and his friend told him that, hey, you actually don't know anything yeah. about deodorants. He said, that's true, but in six months, I'll be an expert. And that's literally what happened. So, so he has the ingredients, um, the one that he thinks that might be good. What he did is just reaching out to some manufacturers in US and uh, asked them to prepare this deodorant for him. Yeah, so they made a uh, first um, couple of deodorants for him and he uh, put them on product hunt. And then the first day he made only one sale and he said, he, he told us like, okay, okay, no, this no. is the end, like it didn't work. Uh, yeah. Of course, it was obvious because his product was on the second page of the product hunt. And he was lucky enough yeah. that uh, he was working in a co-working space and his friend told him, he, told him, hey, actually, I have a friend in Product yeah. Hunt and maybe we can talk to him and he can put you on the first page. That's what happened the next day and the sales went up to 50-50. So in general, he had 51 sales and he thought, okay, in two days I made 51 sales. This actually might work. This, this business actually can work and I can do something about it. And this is how everything becomes really serious. So sales are going, he's doing a lot of advertisement, he's reaching out to his manufacturers, manufacturers are so happy to work with him. Um, and the key was here is that he was really customer obsessed. So he was doing a, a sale and in 28 days, he was reaching out to a customer saying, hey, how, how is the product? Did you like the ingredients? Yeah. If there's something bad, please reply to this email and tell me what is wrong so that we can improve the product. But if everything is good, please go to our website yeah. and put five stars to us. This was really, really amazing. And sometimes when he was receiving a bad reviews, he was making a better ingredient, uh, better deodorant with a better ingredient. And he was sending back free samples of the deodorant to his class customers. So customers were trying it on, you know, like, it's so cool, like you can, you can buy a deodorant and then other day you can receive five other deodorants from the same company and you can see which one is the best for you. Yeah. And then it helped the company to improve, it helped the company to find the best ingredient ever. So how did it take another pace? Uh, what is happening is the company is growing, 
uh, you're uh, having a lot more clients and this time you cannot be spending a lot of your time by sending a lot of samples to a specific clients so this time they decided to make a one ingredient and send it to a one group of people and make another ingredient and send it to another group of people this was actually really smart so what they decided to do in, in between six months they get back to the data and to see which clients actually reordered in this six months and which didn't and they could see that for example the group a actually reordered again in within six months and group b didn't or they were reordering much much lower than group a so that's that's how they found out a perfect ingredient that was really really successful and customers yeah. really loved it so being customer obsessed and focusing on your repeat purchase rates actually was the key in their business by focusing on repeat purchase rates they actually um, made a best ingredient for their product so this is a very key uh, key point uh, to mention again uh, he, they understood that focusing yeah. on a specific goal and having a sharp focus on that goal helps to, will help the company succeed and that's actually what happened yeah. so in two and a half years they sold the company for 100 million dollars and by the way by the time they sold the company they were making 1 million dollars in net profit per mm -hmm. month and they were making it in a team of five people that's insane so let's quickly recap all the four points that we have learned from Moe's story first is find the right problem Moe's was in the right moment in the right place what happened with him he was in the shop and then he was talking to his pregnant sister, which didn't want to buy a bad deodorant for yourself. So there he found a problem and he wanted to solve it. Sometimes you don't need to look far away from you to find the right problem. Just look around, maybe there is something that you will want to solve. Yeah, and the second point is don't be afraid. So he, he didn't know anything about the deodorant business but that didn't stop him, right? And his friends also didn't believe in him. Yeah. But what he was really certain about is that there is a problem and probably he can solve it. So third point is to be customer obsessed. Moise was paying a lot of attention on this. He was always thinking about customers to be satisfied. He was getting back to every client after their first purchase in 28 days everyone was getting an email from him and it was not like a um, automatic email from the company it was actually a human him or their his employees uh, emailing every person about uh, their satisfaction of the product and the fourth point is focus on the right goal so as we said repeat purchase rate for was for his team and uh, the key uh, that made the company successful yeah. so when you whenever you have something put a goal and sh sharply focus on that so that you don't get distracted from anything else thanks a lot for watching this uh, video this is our first video and we highly appreciate you guys watching this until the end we really hope that you liked it a lot yeah. so hit the like button below um, subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on instagram on linkedin just find us anywhere let's yeah. connect and if you liked the video Put, put, give us a thumbs up if you didn't like the video uh, leave a, a comment down below we'll yeah. be really happy to read everything that you that you tell us and if it can help us to improve of yeah. course we would love to improve yeah and we'll see how it goes we'll be posting more videos so yeah. stay tuned uh, we'll be sharing much more interesting and inspiring and motivating uh, stories from yeah. uh, amazing entrepreneurs it was Saeed Hussain and Saeed Hassan see you till next video bye